Hey everyone, so as many of you already know, we had a pretty bad windstorm here last night and we were gonna do a live stream, but that never worked out. Right now we have no power, so I'm working without grid power, running my tools off generators today so I can keep working. I got the wood cut for the top part of the sidewall. I get it all fitted in place to make sure it's gonna fit. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and nail the frame together. And then uh, what I'm gonna have to do is cut the sidewall stud. I, I marked a line up top based off of the plans, the draft that plans that I have uh, two inches from the top of the sidewall supports the side and so I cut these down to the exact size that I need they're very close to the plans but you know how things go when you're building and framing um, it, it you know, sometimes will be off you know uh, an eighth of an inch a quarter of an inch um, so I like to in some cases build things in place maybe that's not how carpenters do it I'm by no means a professional carpenter um, I've actually learned quite a bit along the way here and I've learned from some of the people watching who've made comments and so I really feel like over time I'm gonna really build a skill here doing this I have a I really have a passion for doing it I really enjoy doing it and it's really exciting to me when people comment and put in suggestions or comments of things that they know that should be done a certain way and there are a couple of things that people have mentioned that I've learned from and that have been a really good experience for me but overall I think that this has gone really well. I've been trying to do everything by the book on things that I've researched on how to frame walls and been looking, I looked at the plans of the Virginia Tech. Obviously they, those weren't dead on perfect based on the, some of the things that I've read. So I drafted up new plans for myself. And so I think we're gonna be in very good shape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and nail in the outer frame of the upper part of this sidewall. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the studs and I'm just gonna measure right off of it I'm going to cut the studs to go above the lower stud so the support will carry all the way through the wall and then I'm just going to toe nail the lower part in and then just nail down in from the top and then I can do the same on the other side and then we can work on framing the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that and we'll talk to you in a bit. you can finish the work for me? Yeah. <laughs> I could slide down this. I wouldn't recommend you could be splintered. I would, but whatever. Alright, so to mark the locations for the studs, I want them to be level. So I'm just gonna mark the locations of the studs off the lower ones while holding the level level. And then I'll measure from there to get the size of size board out. Whether this is the right way to do it, I don't know, but this is the way I'm going to do it.
that's gonna be it for today. Really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It helps us out quite a bit. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. We're gonna be doing a lot more of this stuff. You'll get to see the rest of this build. So again, as usual, appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next video.